Life is like music, and we are both the instrument, musician, and the orchestrator. The choice-like notes, the lines of our fates, the rhythm and melody of our actions. From beginning to end, we are all living under the same song, the magnum opus of creation. Oh, hey. Um, I've been taking guitar lessons lately with a woman. No strings attached. You see, I'm glad I'm adding all these new hobbies to my non-existent life. Playing uh, guitar, um, going to sleep. It's a dream come true. Um, just to show you my progress, I'm just going to play a, a little song for you all. Ready? Uh, guitar police, hands to the ground! Oh no, it's the... Pulis. Shut the fuck up. I didn't even do anything. Yeah, you did. You played a note. How's that illegal? I don't know. The big guys just gave me money to do stupid shit like this. It's really fun though. Like, if I do something stupid, they just pay for it. Now that's illegal. No, it ain't. But you're just a cop. Exactly. Look, I'm just trying to play guitar. See? I'm still learning. You've been playing the hardest video games of all time, that correct? That's my life. Well, maybe you could learn a thing or two about music in those games. Wait, I thought you were supposed to be against me. Video games have great music, you know. It's not every day you get a terrible video game music. What the hell's happening? Alright, farewell, man. Well, that's just lazy writing. Video game music hits differently than any other music genre. It's like you know this music is from a video game because video game music has this aura and uniqueness that sets itself apart from any other music. For example, I have here a cup of water a day ago and another cup of water I've just picked up. They're pretty much the same but I like the other one better. My stomach feels funny. The thing about video game music is that it isn't limited to building ambiance or atmosphere. There's Video game music for tile screens, pause menu screens, shopping screens, and you're fucked up knowing you're gonna drown in a Sonic game screen. The music in games changes depending on where the player is and what they're actively and passively doing, gameplay wise and narratively. It's an essential element that enhances the overall gaming experience. It's carefully crafted to complement the gameplay, creating a unique atmosphere and setting the tone for the player's journey. Unlike traditional music in, say, a movie, video game music is not just a mere background noise. It's a vital component that adds depth and emotion to the game. There's a seemingly limitless variety of ways they can use music in a video game. So let's take a look at some of the major components of music in video games. Let's start with world building. Take LEGO Marvel Super Heroes for example. While roaming in the open world, there's this upbeat and catchy theme song that plays in the background. It's a peaceful song that truly invigorates the feeling of playing a LEGO game. Just some pure, youthful fun and childish creativity and imagination. Whenever I revisit this game and listen to this song, I feel like a child again. The game's soundtrack features upbeat and catchy tunes that perfectly match the game's playful tone. It also suits the open world because nothing really happens when you fly around New York as Iron Man or swing around buildings as Spider-Man. No one comes and attacks you except for those dudes on the helicarrier and summoning a sentinel in the middle of a roundabout cause why not. I can fight a giant robot and not save civilians while fighting it whenever I want to. It gives you this sense of relief from the more action packed moments in the game cause why not. I can play Deadpool riding a pizza bike or play Venom driving a taxi. And then when we come to the epic orchestral score that plays during the story missions, we are now driven back to the dramatic story of the game. The music adds a whole new layer to the overall experience of playing a video game. But it's not just about having a catchy tune or an epic score in the background. The use of music in video games is much more than that. It's about creating a sense of atmosphere and emotion that enhances the player's connection to the game world. One of my favorite examples of this is in the Halo series. The iconic theme song composed by Martin O'Donnell instantly transports the players to the world of Halo and the war against the Covenant. 
The use of the choir vocals and a hauntingly beautiful melody perfectly captures the sense of mystery and danger that permeates throughout the game. When you played this game for the first time in First O Halo, you were blinded, paralyzed, and dumbstruck by its majesty. We are now stepping into this beautiful world. The reason why Halo is such a perfect example, at least for the first few games, is that every location and area for each mission is unique in its own way, including the music which adds to the uniqueness of each mission, thus making them iconic in their own way. The mission sign cartographer, we hear this awesome music in the background while driving around the island in the Warthog. In the mission 343 Guilty Spark, it begins with this haunting and foreboding music as we trudge our way in this foggy forest. As the mission progresses, the music slowly becomes more horror, giving us this feeling of dread and fear as we are unraveling the introduction of the flood. This not only adds variety to the music but also helps to differentiate between the different locations and environments within the game. The use of music in Halo is intricately woven into the gameplay as well, from the intense and adrenaline pumping tracks that play during action sequences to the more somber and melancholic melodies that accompany emotional moments, the music in Halo plays a crucial role in world building. But how exactly does music achieve this? Well, it's all about the power of association. Just like how a certain smell can trigger a memory, the use of recurring musical themes in a game can create a sense of familiarity and connection to a specific location or character. Once again, in Halo, the theme song is often used to signify the presence of the Master Chief or to foreshadow an upcoming battle. This creates a sense of anticipation and excitement in players as they know they are about to embark on an epic adventure. It also helps to create a sense of immersion and emotional connection for players. Speaking of emotional connection, one example of how music can create an emotional impact in a video game is through the use of dynamic music. This technique involves changing the music depending on the player's actions or the situation in the game. This allows players to feel more connected to the game and its characters. An excellent example of this is in The Last of Us, where the music shifts from calm and somber to intense and chaotic during combat scenes. This change in music helps build tension and immerse the player in the game's world, making the experience far more emotional and impactful. For a moment, we give an explicit magazine to a 14-year-old and in the next minute, we are jumped by a bunch of bad guys. Moreover, music can also be used to convey a game's narrative and character's emotions. In games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and The Last of Us, the music reflects the main character's emotions and their journey. The melancholic guitar melodies in Red Dead Redemption 2 reflect Arthur Morgan's internal struggle, while the hauntingly beautiful soundtrack in The Last of Us captures the emotional bond between Joel and Ellie. Furthermore, music can also enhance the player's emotional connection to a game's world and its characters. The iconic soundtrack of Ocarina of Time has become synonymous within the game itself, and many players have an emotional attachment to it. The music in the game not only sets the tone, but also evokes feelings of nostalgia, fond memories for players who have grown up with the game. Video games have come a long way since their inception in the 50s, from simple black and white games like Pong to the immersive and visually stunning games of today, the industry has seen tremendous growth and evolution. And while the graphics and gameplay have certainly improved, one aspect of video games that often goes unnoticed is the music. Music has always been an integral part of video games and it has the power to evoke strong emotions and create a sense of nostalgia for players. One of the most iconic video games that has a strong nostalgic impact is Final Fantasy VII. Released in 1997, this game revolutionized the role-playing genre and became an instant hit among gamers. One of the reasons for its success was its memorable soundtrack composed by Nobuo Uematsu. The game's main theme, Aerith's theme, is still considered one of the most emotional and nostalgic pieces of video game music. Whenever players hear it, they are instantly transported back to the epic journey of Cloud and his friends, reliving the emotions they felt while playing the game. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 also had a memorable soundtrack composed by Jack Wall. 
the game's main scene, Adrenaline, is a high-energy track that perfectly complements the fast-paced gameplay. It's become a fan favorite and is often associated with the game's intense multiplayer matches. Players often mention how hearing this track instantly takes them back to their days of playing Black Ops 2 with their friends. Oh gee, I wonder who's knocking that number. Need any help? Oh no, it's the... You seem a bit low today. Want day old water? Why else would I be talking about music? Ah, oh, never mind. You go on doing your thing, I'll rest you in a moment and eat some donuts. Oh, by the way, you want some? There's a store down there called Not Donuts. I don't know what to sell in, but my buddy told me that they're selling donuts even though their brand name is called Not Donuts. Get out! Music in video games has a powerful nostalgic impact that can transport players back to their fondest gaming memories, which gives it its unique special place in the hearts of gamers. And it's not just emotions and world building that music can allocate in video games. What makes music so fond of is the storytelling. One of the main reasons why music is so effective in delivering storytelling is its ability to evoke emotion. Just like in films, music and video games can set the mood and create a sense of atmosphere. A slow, melancholic melody can evoke sadness and sorrow in players while an upbeat, energetic tune can create a sense of excitement and adventure. This emotional connection to the music can deepen the player's attachment to the game's story and characters, making the overall experience more engaging and meaningful. Another way music delivers dynamic storytelling in video games is through its use in pivotal moments of the game. These moments can range from intense boss battles to heart-wrenching cutscenes, the right music can elevate these moments to a whole new level. A well-timed, epic orchestral piece during a climatic battle can make players feel like a hero, while a somber piano tune during a heartbreaking scene can bring tears to their eyes. These musical cues not only enhance the overall gameplay experience, but also help to emphasize the emotional impact of these crucial moments in the game's narrative. Music's just like water. It's wet, I know, but music can be so diverse and unique. On one hand, you have this, and on the other one, you have poison. There are so many different styles and genres within the video game music that it's almost mind-blowing. And the best part is, each style or genre is perfectly tailored to fit the game it's featured in. Take for example, the upbeat and pumping music of platformers like Super Mario or Sonic the Hedgehog. The fast pace and catchy melodies perfectly complement the gameplay, making it even more exciting. The orchestral compositions of Zelda and Skyrim, the iconic 8-bit melodies of Pac-Man and Tetris, and even rhythm games like Guitar Hero or Dance Dance Revolution, where you have a vast library of varying songs. The diversity not only adds to the overall experience, but also has the power to evoke emotions and even enhance the gameplay itself. Wanna know what's better than day old water? Making your own water. Basically, fans of certain video games, say Five Nights at Freddy's for example, create their own music inspired by the game and share it within their community. I think it's such a great way for fans to express their love for the game while also showcasing their musical talent. Like, have you seen World of Warcraft fan music? What's even more exciting is that these fan-made songs often have a deeper meaning and connection to the game than just the surface. We're talking about the entire iceberg here. The FNAF song isn't about the dark lore of the franchise, it's all about Taco Bell. One thing I love about it is that it creates a sense of community among gamers. It's like a Zoom call but with working servers. Everyone can come together and share their love for the game through their music. It's this kind of camaraderie and creativity that makes the video game community so special. Of course, not all fan-made music is about deep meaning and connection. Why do you think I showed that video earlier? Some are just fun, dumb parodies of a popular song with lyrics changed to be about a certain game. I used to
These types of songs add a bit of humor to the mix and bring a smile to anyone's face. Last but not least, why am I talking about this? Video game music is not just some background noise or filler. It's a key element that enhances the whole gaming experience. And let's be real, some video game soundtracks are more iconic than actual songs written by popular artists. Music in video games sets the mood and tone for the entire game. It can make you feel excited, anxious, or even sad depending on the scene or level you're playing. Another aspect is its ability to create memorable moments. The moment when you're betrayed by Shepard, that motherfucker. When you're fighting a dragon for the first time in Skyrim, when you open those doors and see the beautiful world of Limgrave, and when you're fucked up knowing you're gonna drown in a Sonic game. But it's not just about the emotional impact. Video game music can also play a crucial role in the gameplay itself. In rhythm games like Rhythm Heaven, the music is the main focus and essentially the driving force of the game. Moreover, video game music also has become a genre of its own expanding beyond just the gaming industry. Many fans of video game soundtracks listen to them outside of the games, creating a whole community of people who appreciate and enjoy this type of music. Video game music is so important and beautiful, it's not just creating memorable experiences, it's a vital part of the gaming experience. It sets the tone, creates emotions, and enhances gameplay. So just take a moment to really listen to the music and appreciate its impact on your overall experience. And who knows, maybe you'll discover a new appreciation for the amazing composers and musicians behind these incredible soundtracks. Big deal! That's the best thing I've ever heard from someone who's clearly never heard of Pong before. That being said, I'm putting you under arrest. Oh man, what am I gonna do with my two-day-old water? Two-day-old water exists? Yeah, there's a Brenda down the street. Well, anyways, music is great.